Have you ever found it a little overwhelming or a little disorganized to create your brand identity from a mood board that feels kind of scattered? That's because when we work with mood boards, we're pulling inspiration from everywhere, but we're not really focused on the interaction of how these elements that are inspiring us would likely work together. Now with a stylescape, you're able to focus on a clear vision for your brand and one that aligns with how these elements interact with one another and how you want your audience to feel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take all those scattered ideas from an initial mood board and have a clear vision by using a stylescape where we'll focus on how these elements that we're bringing together will likely interact with one another. Now, to make it easier for you, I'm gonna share a free template that you can use in Adobe Express. Now, before we dig any further, I wanna take a quick moment to pause and thank Adobe Adobe Express for partnering with me to bring this series to you. So bring those ideas, grab your computer, and let's get started. The first thing that you'd wanna do is go and open the template. If you haven't added the templates to your Creative Crowd libraries or your libraries inside Adobe Express, make sure you watch the welcome video because that has the instructions on how to do that. Now to get started, you're gonna go to your stuff. Once you've added those, go to libraries and look for the Mocha Moose inspired templates. Scroll down to the bottom and look for this template over here. Once you click on it, it'll bring a pop-up. It has a note with some instructions to give you further inspiration and then click on start a new file. Now that we have the template open, what I really recommend is that you go ahead and rename the file to whatever brand name that you are building for. So now we can start to populate and replace some of these elements to build your own stylescape. Before you get started, I highly recommend that you have a very clear vision of what you want this brand to represent from what you offer, who it's for, and those emotions that you want your audience to feel when they come connect with your brand. So make sure that you have at least a list of words between three to five keywords that align with all of these values. If you need more help with this, I will also include a link in the description below for another guide that you can go through that will guide you through this process. Now, let's say you have those words handy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with adding those words. Those words will help you as you're building these ideas and they're gonna constantly show up over here in this design and it's gonna remind you what type of content you wanna look for to build this stylescape. So I'm gonna go ahead and add peaceful. I want this to be one of my key leading words. And then what you can do is select the fonts over here on the far left if you are using Adobe Express, the free version, you will have a little bit more of a limitation as far as what type of fonts you can use. If you have any of the subscriptions, whether it's Creative Cloud or the Adobe Express subscription, you'll have over 30,000 fonts available so you can really start to explore. There's a lot of options and you'll be able to look at a typeface, which is a family of fonts or just individual fonts. So for example, this version over here from Acumen Pro Lite is a font. Acumen Pro is the typeface. So go and explore through all those texts and go and click on each individual text to start to add these words that you want to use. So I want community to be another word. And then let's add empowered here. And I'm gonna go through all the process of replacing the text for the rest of this design. My text, don't worry so much about changing the colors just yet. We wanna focus on the images. So keeping all of these keywords in mind, start to search for some of these images. So select the image that you want to replace and then click on replace. Then you'll have the option to either upload from your device, search for photos or even videos. We're gonna stick to photos for now and I wanna search for something that is nature. Then I can start to look through all the options here. I really like this one with the bridge. It talks about peaceful nature, but it also has this beautiful direction over here. So thinking about feeling empowered, how being outdoors 
really grounds you. So all of these things are starting to pull together within that image. And this is where having those text or those keywords will really help you. So I can keep looking for other options. And then I found this really beautiful image of a bird that I really want to connect with because it really thinks about flight and freedom, also movement, and it also feels empowered. So again, I'm starting to think about how these words tie into this brand. Then you can keep on clicking on each of the images and start going through the process of replacing these images, keeping these words in mind. If there are images here that you don't want to use, like for instance, this image down here, you can just select it and delete it. Then you can go in and extend this image all the way down so that it fits within that space. I went ahead and did the process for more of the images. I replaced the one here in this circle. I wanted it to be about community, so people hiking together, the idea of a hiker over here exploring. And now I'm starting to see some color patterns as I'm working with this. Now, the other thing that I really wanted to do was focus on a person. So thinking about who this person is that you're trying to connect with, with your product or your brand. And this really helps you hone in as you're building this style scape. So I added this image of this person that I wanted to use and I selected to remove the background. That way it adds more like a cutout and I can start to do a little bit more tweaks over here. So a couple of things that I wanna do is I actually want to delete this image over here of the chocolate and replace it with a mountain. So I'm gonna go and search for mountain and then look for one that I can use that this one looks pretty good and I replaced it. Now I can go in and make a few adjustments, extend this over here and remove background. Now I can always go in and make those tweaks by adjusting with the eraser and go in and kind of erase some of these. But for now, I'm not too worried because this is about exploration and just ideation. Now let's replace this with a backpack image. So I'm gonna go over here on the far left and search for backpack. I found one that I like. Now I'm going to remove the background and repeat the process. Then I can go in and adjust this as I see fit, enlarge this, but we're kind of getting the picture over here is how we're starting to build this stylescape. Next, what I wanna do is replace this pattern. So because it's gonna be about being outdoors, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna go to elements. Then I'm gonna look for topography and let's go with topo topographic map. Now there's a lot of really great options. I can click on view all and look for one that works well with what I'm trying to do. And now that it's added it to my board over here, I can just turn this to appear vertical and I'm gonna bring this to the very far back so that it just peeks behind those images. I can also adjust the opacity. Again, this is more of a texture to start to build this brand. Now, there are a few things here that I don't necessarily need so I can start to delete those icons and these icons are as inspiration as you start to build your brand identity. Okay, we're gonna pause here for a little quick PSA on using assets that you find from any online platform, whether it's icons, illustrations, et cetera, to create your brand mark or your logo. Now, because these are available free or even purchased, in order for you to trademark this, you need to change it up enough so that it does not look like the original. Otherwise, you might risk copyright infringement or when you're trying to actually run the trademark registration, it may be flagged for someone else that was able to use that to register their trademark. So you wanna be a little cautious, actually no, more cautious when you're using these elements to create your brand identity or your brand mark. I recommend starting simple, use a word mark where it's only just type and then build from there. Or maybe over time, you're ready to work with a professional company like my company or a professional designer that is ready to take your brand to the next level. So don't overthink it, but also, be aware that you may not be able to use these particular assets in a trademark. That means if you're trying to register the trademark for the brand that you design. I am going to go ahead and delete this one and I'm gonna go back over here under cell, all of these elements and let's go to icons and I'm gonna look for nature. Look for an icon over here that kind of just brings some inspiration as to maybe some icons that I wanna use or some type of element as I'm building this brand identity. Let's kind of see. Okay, I found an icon that I really liked. 
Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go and start to replace some of these colors. Now what you wanna do is select each of these colors. Now these top three larger colors, these act as your leading colors or your leading hues. You wanna have maybe one to two that are your leading hues and those should align with the words that you want to associate your brand the most with. So have that selected, click on fill, go through the eyedropper and then start to pull some inspiration colors throughout these images that you're using over here because I really want to connect with the idea of peaceful. I want to pick some sort of green and again go through the process of starting to explore. This is really going to help you get your ideas as far as what colors you want to use for this brand. And you see that they're starting to feel more together instead of all its own. So a couple of things that I wanna do is on the layers panel on your very far right, if you cannot select anything, for instance, you wanna replace the circle, go to your layers and look for the little circle icon. Now I can go in and change it with one of the colors that I wanted to use. So I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool and let's say we wanna use one of these lighter, brighter colors. Not really a fan of that, but then you can kind of go in and explore. This is starting to look good. Now I'm ready to move forward. So what you can do from this point forward is you can start to build your brand identity, start to create your logo, start to build some of these elements together, or you can take the stylescape and work with a professional designer that can help you build this vision. If you don't have a professional designer, don't worry, start simple and build from that and eventually you'll find something that really works well with you. Now you're ready to start designing your brand identity. The next thing you wanna do is go onto Adobe Express, set up your brand kit, and in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a one-page style guide to use as a guidance for all your fonts, logos, colors, all of that information in one page. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more right over here.